to today's video guys this is your girl rita proud estena so guys today's video as you can see from from the title of this video guys um i just thought i should talk about my biological mother but the truth is i miss her and i'll always miss her i'll just talk about the things that i remember about her like because the time that my mom died i was very young so let me show you the photo first of the woman my mother my everything so guys so this is my mother can you see her guys yeah so half names were esther zulu esther zulu yes she had two daughters two children that's me and my sister who is also normal i didn't grow up with her like the, the whole time she was she was alive so the thing is when i i don't know there's just the i don't know about me like the things that happened when i was very young guys i don't know how i remember but i remember like the other time i tried to ask my grandma the one whom i used to stay with that time when i when i was um when i was in the village with her before i came into town like when i asked her she's like yes no surprise I'm like but then how do i remember how do i remember guys the time that mom came at the farm to pick me up so that we came here in town we come we come to town hey please just <laughs> okay guys like like Nikumbukira day ila ine like day where I may wangu ku farm kuzoni to la kwela kuna ku town yenze yenze day ya kuti mvule zeti loka ni rapta tashka pa farm tata palo di basi ma uh, challenge ma moto kenze vuda so tefika kuno si ku mvule tiloka so upon reaching by then my mother used to work in a restaurant the, there was a restaurant for mr milans milans yeah in kapata by then it was happening so i was asking her like when was that she was like that was in 93 i was like what 93 how how old was i guys 93 how old was i let me just find out <clears throat> Let me calculate. Uh, I was only four years old, and how do I remember? So the thing is, when she came, we when we arrived here in town. Remember, I told you we got soaked that day. So mom was sick for, I don't know, she was sick for about maybe two weeks or a week. So, but me, I don't know. <laughs> but I was just fine. I was just fine. I was just fine so i was just fine by then so we got here to town and then we stayed cool if you know those from jipata we stayed cool at kwa jumbe kumpezeni side kula kwa jumbe that's where we used to stay tangalago kula my mother went to lusaka in search of her father yes so she went to Lusaka, me, that's how I went to stay with grandma. By then, it doesn't have a kuma e, it doesn't have a e eight, e eight, it depends on car. She moved my gula, but e eight. But time went, I remember the time uh, mom was coming back from Lusaka. By then, she, I think, Nayamba na school grade one, that was in 97, 97 years back. Then she found that uh, my mother, my grandmother had opened a restaurant. So in fact, her, her idea of coming back was to come and get me so that we'd go to Lusaka and stay in Lusaka. But when she, come, when she came here, grandma convinced her to say, you know, if you go to Lusaka, there'll be no one to take care of my business. So just stay, you'll be running the restaurant. That's how my mom stayed. We used to stay uh, in magazine. Which all I know is that there was, there was such ground like... Mukatokera mtao nukuluta kumagazini 
like papa got to code and then there was a big ground and then manga and then there but that's where that's what i remember we stayed there oh, and then there was a time mom mom got sick again ah okay and then voila and then voila i remember and then voila but the year i'm not sure i don't remember the year we shifted from magazine we went to kalungwezi that's where there's uh this time that house is it's a it's now a church like where there there's um uh, ami shanshan ami shanshan 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 like from your fears as you're going that side there's um is it air force shanshan shanshan now there's those houses just besides there there's a church that's the house where we used to stay with my ground with my mother we rent a room we used to rent a room in that house so we stayed there for some quite some time saturday market saturday market we stayed there first we used to stay those to my shops before they were even developed kuchi upstairs as you as you as you enter saturday market from golf from golf yes then when you enter like your first time to your right there's a chi there's a there's an upstairs there so that upstairs that's where we used to stay so we stayed there from there we shifted we went to those shops which are uh that line yeah vip now behind those shops then there that's where we we stayed there up to 202 got sick this time it was it was bad it was bad this day we were like inside the house then mom was like um but then she was too sick so i remember that day i don't know if she was calculating like she was balancing the book cuz even if she was sick but she used to like when they sell things at the restaurant and then they they bring her the book then she she balanced those so they that that day i remember they brought her the book and then she was you know she was um balancing the book and then me that's how i went i remember sitting down on a sofa to my mom's chair guys i don't know you guys from but if you know those to my chair sitting there with her so she was like i, I wore a ka a ka a ka small top such that she noticed that my breast they am back to me that was just like this case that was to zero to those just small so then she was like ah like she was just telling me to say ah i don't think i will ever get well no but then i was young i couldn't even understand like what she meant i i i couldn't understand so she was like ah oh mwana wangu wakula like wamba na kumela maziva so they can ikwire ko mabela otherwise neo ni kufwa but then i was young so i i i i didn't took her serious but then because i was next to her then ah uh, ewela gwira ko tsiala like agwira ko so i'm sorry guys ewela gwira ko tsiala ka ben then that's how I I moved that from the chair and then she was like ah good what I go I don't think you bored so that that was it then the next thing I remember is the day that my mom died about the day I'm not really sure because uh like the day that she she died I remember that day guys what happened was I went at school I was at school before they could even tell me like your mom has died. I wasn't sick but I just felt weak like weak like I don't know that day it was bad like there was just something that like there was just something like okay there's, there was just something that I knew I though I didn't knew but there was just something in me something was just trying to tell me like something is not okay with you so i just felt weak i could the day was just bad guys so i remember that day after knocking off from school after knocking off i passed through the restaurant then there was this auntie that i used to stay with said 
the time my mom was sick in the hospital she came i think mom requested for her to say something like that after this, the situation i think when the situation was worsened she requested her that she, she should come home so guys then after like like when i knocked off from school like now we got this and then in um in fact been if we got this and i found that my aunt the same aunt i'm telling you said yeah she was at the restaurant and then she just followed me like she didn't she didn't say anything but she just followed me home me home she was just behind coming behind me and that's how i reached home then i put my bag on my bed and then i was just sitting there then that's how she came in she was like I don't know So that's how I went to bedroom. I cried. I remember crying that day. I cried, guys. I cried. I cried. I cried. So that very day, I remember getting this photo. This this same photo. Then I started writing some things. So I don't want you guys to see what I was writing. I started writing. Even the date, though the date, I'm not really sure about it. Cause, but then by then I was young, so I'm not sure if this is the correct date. But I don't know because I found the other photo that I, I written on it. This one, uh, it's saying to introduce her to on the twenty second of March. Then this one is saying on the twenty sixth May two zero two. So I don't I don't know which one is correct. So oh, guys, the journey hasn't been like easy. Growing up as an orphan, mm, it's bad. Like the way I am right now, I've grown up, but still there are those there are times when I feel like. Wow, how I wish mom was here with me. That just those those things that I feel if she were, if she could be alive by now, I was going to share with her. Those those two things that I feel only mom was you know was the only person I could you know share those things with. But she's no more. It happened so. Growing up was an orphan, it's not an easy thing, but I'm used. And so that's it for this video, guys. I just thought I should talk about it. It's something that I've never talked with anyone, like I said before. So I don't know, I've talked about it. Oof. So that's that for this video, guys. Um, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for always tuning in. Let's grow this account, guys. I don't know. So that's it. I've got today's video. I just thought, you know, I should I should share with you, with you, with you, with you. So that's it from me. It's bye. See you in my next video.